Hello, this is Tony Heller from realclimatescience.com. This is a Google search of caused by climate change, which in the language of the press means caused by the burning of fossil fuels. All bad weather is now blamed by the press and politicians on the use of low-cost reliable energy. And the message is that if you continue to use low-cost reliable energy, you're going to kill people all over the world and eventually you're going to kill yourself. Three years ago, the governor of New York said that the state never used to have hurricanes or tornadoes. And he said that anyone who doesn't believe that's true is delusional. You know, Ali, anyone who questions uh, extreme weather and, and climate change is just delusional at this point. Uh, we have seen in the state of New York what everyone is seeing. We see these uh, weather patterns that we never had before. We didn't have hurricanes. We didn't have super storms. We didn't have tornadoes. But this, this is a recurring pattern. And anyone who uh, is still in denial is making a very serious mistake. The message to young people is that the world used to be perfect before the burning of fossil fuels. My mother grew up in Brooklyn and told me some amazing stories about the great hurricane of 1938, which was the deadliest hurricane in Northeast United States history. New York City got lucky because the eye of the hurricane passed just to the east over Long Island. As a result, most of the huge death counts occurred in Connecticut and Rhode Island. The most powerful hurricane to ever hit New York occurred this week in 1821. Once again, the city got very lucky because the storm came in at low tide. Had the storm come in a few hours later at high tide, it would have devastated most of lower Manhattan. That same week in 1821, the northeastern United States was devastated by tornadoes as well. In 2001, the New York Times ran a story about historical hurricanes in New York, 1635, 1815, 1938, and 1954. Somehow, though, they missed the 1821 hurricane, which was the most powerful of them all. Three of the ten deadliest Atlantic hurricanes, including the deadliest, occurred during the Revolutionary War, 1780, 1776, and 1775. Nine of the ten deadliest U.S. hurricanes occurred more than 65 years ago, including the deadliest this week in 1900. America's deadliest natural disaster occurred on September 8, 1900, when the city of Galveston, Texas was destroyed by a hurricane and storm surge. About 10,000 people died in that storm, and bodies were still washing up on the shore many weeks after the storm occurred. America's most expensive natural disaster occurred during September 1926 when Miami was wiped out by a hurricane. Hundreds killed, thousands homeless, 50 miles of coastline devastated. The storm surge was so large from that hurricane that many of the palm trees were almost completely inundated. That was back in the days when climate scientists actually did science and they blamed the storm on sunspots. America's second deadliest hurricane occurred in 1928 when Lake Okeechobee had a massive storm surge that killed many thousands of people. The deadliest Atlantic hurricane occurred in 1780 and destroyed every single building in Barbados. 24,000 people died and the wind blew so hard that it stripped all of the bark off the trees, which meant the winds were over 200 miles per hour. The wind picked up the heavy cannons of the British and blew them a hundred feet into the air. And that was just one of five catastrophic hurricanes in the Atlantic that season. Children are being taught that there never used to be bad weather, and the bad weather we're having is caused by the use of low-cost reliable energy. Lacking any historical knowledge or experience, they have no way of knowing that they're being lied to. Governments have known for thousands of years that they can control the population by spreading fictional stories. The climate religion is just one more example of the same old tried-and-true technique. Toto's been pulling back the curtain on this disinformation campaign from government and the press for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki, and Upla on the web at realclimatescience.com.